Hello, everybody. Ah, my arms are cut off. Um, <laughs> so we're here today with another tier list. Um, as you can, guys, guys, get back at that. Could they get the bullet? As you guys can see, this is the Gen Nine tier list. All the new Gen Nine mons, including the Hisuian mons from Gen Eight, um, are on this list. Uh, so we're gonna do a tier list. We're gonna remember it. as of right now, the games aren't out. As a recording, the games aren't out, so this is all from like data mining and shit. Um, but when this goes out, the games will be out, so there's, there's no spoilers. So let's move on first with the Paldean Tauros. There's three versions there's the fighting type, the fire fighting type, and the water fighting type. Honestly, um, so I'm basing, I'm basing off designs. Uh, and just general thoughts about the Pokemons. I feel like these uh, are kind of bland, so I'm going to put them in B because I do like Tauros. So I'm just going to put them all in the same category. Uh, I'm probably going to end up using them at one point or another, so yeah, B it goes. Paldean Wooper, you know, it's it's a it's a B. I don't like Wooper. It's a good design. High combinations, good for the design and everything. I just don't like Wooper. I never liked Wooper. Um, Weir Deer, I mean, it's it's a good design. It gives Sandler an evolution, so Sandler can now use the Violite. Uh, it itself might be pretty decent competitively. I don't know. I'll have to try it out. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Um... Cleavor's S tier. I love Cleavor's design. Um, I can't wait to use it competitively. Sneasler is like a C tier design. I really don't like it. I, I'm still going to use it competitively. Uh, we're going to put these here and not talk about them. Um, okay, I like that there's another genie. I just don't like the design. Uh, I forget what. Overquill. Overquill is S tier for sure. Uh, I can't wait to use it. Basculin. Basculegion S tier. Ursaluna S tier. These are all mons from. Those are all the fucking Hisuian mons, and I, specifically those five that I put in S tier. I can't wait to use them competitively, especially this big motherfucker right here. Uh, so now that we're done with that, on to the new, new, new mons. All right. So Sprigatito is an S tier design. I love it. It's so fucking adorable, and I love cats. So any cat Pokemon is is uh, is going to be in the higher tiers for me. Personally, uh, I did want to use originally use Fue Coco and Sprigatito in Scarlet, but it takes like an hour and a half to get to apparently. So from what I'm hearing, it takes like an hour and a half to get to where you can trade online. And I don't want to play for an hour and a half to get Sprigatito to trade it over and then to have to play another hour and a half. So I can have a friend trade my Sprigatito back to me after I pick Fue Coco. So I'm. Um, but the original plan was to use it because I do like his design. I do like um, everything about this kid, this kitty, this kitten. Um, Florida Gato, its evolution is also an S tier design. I love it. It's a great continuation. I don't mind that four feet uh, quadrupeds go by pedal. I don't give a shit. As long as the design is good, as long as it's usable, I don't give a shit if it goes, you know, from four feet to two feet. A big fucking indication of that is my fucking channel mascot slash favorite Pokemon Incineroar. So, uh, yeah, moving on. Uh, Meowskarada, I think I said that right. Yeah, I was going to say it's a B-tier design. I like it personally. I just don't think that it's the best that it could be, you know. Um, but we'll see. I have not used any of these mons yet except for the Hisuian mons. So, and even at that, I only use those in Legends, Arceus. So we'll see. Maybe I'll try it out competitively and I'll like it. It does get Protean, but Protean got nerfed. So it only works uh, once after being sent out into battle, which I assume means like every time you get sent out, it'll Protean will kick off like whatever. But I mean, it does make it better because it, it well, you can change your type with Protean with Protean. And then if you're Terra type matches that dude new type, you would get double stab on your new, you know, it, 
So it does it does have some advantages. So I'm I'm curious to try it out. The design is is kind of meh right now. I want to see it like you know move around. Uh, but for now, it's gonna be it's gonna stay in B. Uh, Fue Coco is A tier. Crocolor honestly is C tier. I'm not a fan of the cheeks. The cheeks kind of ruin it for me. I like the nest with the egg, and the egg hatches into the little birdie on uh, Skelly Dirge. Skelly Dirge, this isn't snout. I love that concept. It's the cheeks ruin the design for me. I don't know. It's, but anyways, Skelly Dirge is fucking eight S tier. I love it. It looks fucking cool, and it's not a poison type, <laughs> which I don't know why that's that's like a. But the other fire reptile that we have is a poison type and it makes it super fucking and it's also super frail, which makes it fucking terrible. I'm talking to you fucking. Salazzle. So, yeah. I can't wait to use that. I unaware is kind of an eh ability as a hidden ability. So but I mean, those won't be released until like probably home connectivity. Uh, Quaxley is an A tier. I like its design, but I'm going to be honest with you. These next two, I'm going to put them in D tier because they are fucking ugly and they ruin Quaxley. I will say I love uh, Quackafell's running animation. It's so funny. I get what it's based off of. It does a good job at like representing what it's based off of, but I hate these fucking designs. Um... They do get Moxie, though, so that's kind of a plus for them. You know, because of that, I'll put them in C tier. Uh, um, Lechonk, I'm going to put it in C tier. It's a pig. It's got a funny name. Um, its evolutions are going to be in a higher tier because I think that they look cool. And I mean, one of them gets the ability Lingering Aroma, which is basically just Mummy, just with another name. But they're definitely better designs than uh, Lechonk and will obviously be better competitively. I don't know if I'll even use them because usually like I don't use the I don't try to use the the, the early route mons in competitive unless they're like really, really good. Like uh, what's his fucking name from 8th gen? Um, Corviknight. Uh, the Dunsparce. I'm going to go with A tier just because not because of the design itself. But because they literally just took Dunsparce and then like separated its body into two bodies and then added a tip on its tail and it's like that's the new Pokemon. Uh, and then there's the other one which is three of them which is like the other form. Uh, I have I know a lot of people are going to be disappointed in the Dunsparce evolution and then at this point in time they still haven't figured out how to evolve it which is what I want to know because why would I want to evolve my Dunsparce? Its stats look pretty, pretty, pretty... I'm not going to say pretty good. They look pretty decent. It's going to have some usage. Uh, still slow as hell, though. Uh, I'm going to say that's, it's a B tier, but it's like a high B tier. And actually, this Masquerade is going to go uh, high, B, high B tier as well. Uh, the reason why it's a high B tier for me is because, you know, yeah, it's the early route bug, but it's shiny as red and it's fucking gorgeous. Um, Spy Dops. I'm gonna put it low B tier because it, it looks like it's got French fries for arms, at least in the sprite it does. Uh, let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like it's got French fries for arms. Uh, so. Yeah. Uh, what's this guy's name? Fuck. I, I don't know all the names yet, guys. Uh, Nimble. Nimble is cute as hell. That's, that's an A-tier fucking design right there. Uh, it's cute as hell. I think it's pure bug, and I think it, it becomes... Yeah, it's pure bug. It, you know, it's a, it's 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 an early route bug. It's, 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 it's stats are shit, but you know what? Doesn't fucking matter because it evolves. Oops, that's Twitter. It evolves into low kicks, which is a fucking S-tier design. And actually, I'm going to put Skeletor Dirge up here uh, as well as the low kicks. Um, you know, Common Rider. I I know fucking nothing about it, but my friend Enigma loves Common Rider, and he's super psyched about Low Kicks. Low Kicks. You know, I'm gonna just go over its stats right here. It's right here. Uh, you know, 102 attack, 92 base speed, fucking decent as hell. 
it, it it's kind of it's kind of frail and special side but you can always if you if you're worried about that you can always give it an assault vest i don't know why you would give this mon an assault vest but i mean fucking more power to you if you want to do that um you know i'm i you know i like it so it, you know it's fine uh this is what it's called relor relor is next it's 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 it's, 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 it's gonna be it's gonna be a b low b uh, higher than uh, you know, fucking no, there, there it is. It's kind of it's gonna shit ball. I like it. It's a bug type, you know, it's cool. The next one, however, it's evolution Rabska. Or, is that how you, it? how you say it? Rabska, yeah, Rabska. That's fucking A tier for two reasons. One, it's bug psychic, was I think it's a great combination, a great type combination. Uh, its stats are a little bit lackluster, uh, in terms of like. Well, no, it's a slow, bulky special attacker. I get it. You know, it, it's got, it's got te telepathy as its hidden ability, which I fucking love. For those of you who don't know what tele telepathy does, it's basically is I could use earthquake in doubles. If my if my other mon has telepathy, it won't get hit. So it avoids like multi hit moves that would hit you from your allies. Uh, and it does get revival blessing, which is going to be kind of fucking broken if used correctly um grievard grievard uh it's a c tier design i know a lot of people are gonna be like oh puppy puppy or whatever i don't give a shit uh houndstone that's right that's his name right yeah houndstone i think it gets a really 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 cool move um yeah let's see control f pound Last respects, the user attacks to avenge its allies. The more defeated allies there are in the user's party, the, move, the greater the move's power. Yeah, so it gets 50, B, 50, B, 50 BP for each ally fainted. So if you're doing a full 6v6 battle, and this is your last mon, <laughs> you're doing like 300 power move, 300 BP damage moves. And, um... Hold on, let's see. What's its... Where is it? It's here. You know, it's got, it's got good fucking. It's bulky. It's got, you know, decent attack. I mean, never, never shit on a hundred base stat. Never shit on a hundred base stat. So I say decent attack. It's got good attack. It's not got a really good attack. It's it, you know, it's bulky, and you know, if you can live that hit, you know, you could also maybe run it choice scarfed. You know, you just you catch people off guard and. Last respects, last respects, last respects, last respects. You know, I think also Basque Legion gets last respects from what I heard. So, um, that's going to be crazy. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, what's this guy called? This little guy, Flittle. Flittle is cute as hell, man. That's a fucking A tier design. I'm going to go and put it, yeah, right there. Uh, it's a psych pure psychic type. It's a little baby, baby bird. Uh, it gets speed boost, and so does its evolution, Espathra, which uh, is kind of a C tier design. No, that that was Tadball. That's not the right one. Uh, it's kind of like a mid C tier design. It does get two good abilities in uh, Opportunist and Speed Boost. It's got really good stats. Well, really decent stats. 105 speed, 101 special attack. Uh, you know, 95. HP, you know, it's got kind of, it's got terrible bulk, but this this is meant to be a glass cannon. You put it in, protect turn one, get a free plus one speed boost. Um, let's look at the ability. What's the ability? Uh, I think it was opportunist. If an opponent's status boosts, this Pokemon is the opportunity to boost the same stat for itself. So you like switch into like someone quicker, quicker dancing, and you're running the fucking show, you know, like you know, you get that plus one sp attack. Plus one speed, and you get the speed boot beast. You're you're outspeeding their opponent, the 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 person who just fucking quiver danced, possibly to outspeed you. You know, or I mean, if someone dragon dances, you're still not gonna do shit physically, but you will get that free speed boost. You know, so there's a lot of Espathra has a lot of potential, uh, competitively speaking. In terms of design, I think it's mid B at best. Uh, for Rigoraf. I'm gonna put it in A tier because it has a, it, they did a good thing, 
they took draft rig which was kind of like a eh, the decent at best design and they expanded on it and made it better so i like for graph plus look at this i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna look at this i'm gonna share this guy's stats with you guys right now 120 base uh 120 base hp 70 base base 70 defenses so this thing is kind of bulky and eh, kind of not it's slower than for than giraffe for rig but that's fine it's 100 fine because it hits harder not that much harder but still harder and it's bulkier so you know plus it gets uh cut you and armor tail so i i'm i'm, I'm not like as excited to use it as other mons but i think that design wise it's a way it's a step up from giraffe rig which you should be if you're if you're using evolutions if you're doing an evolution right and uh yeah so uh bottom of a is perfect place for you wiglet i like it's that's not wiglet wiglet i like its design i'm gonna put it top of b because it's just it's a diglet it's a water type diglet that's like a, an eel instead of a mole uh don't get me wrong I, i'm not I'm not saying it's a lazy design as some other retards are saying i like it and i use retard as being an idiot i'm an 90s kid don't get offended uh wug trio wug trio is fucking disgusting moving on uh okay this is this guy should be over here the donzo the, i love the donzo it's gonna be like a mid a tier for me uh it may it reminds me of lord jabu jabu and it's it's kind of got a thing going on with the sushi mon so uh, it's a mid a it's a mid a tier for me uh veluza veluza is like a low b tier time in 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 in, 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 in design uh it does get mold breaker which is often very 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 good um you know it's got all right stats it's not nothing special uh it is water psychic though so that's the thing if you like that kind of stuff uh all right finison finison is fucking top of a top of a for sure it's so fucking adorable and i can't wait to use it especially since it has it has like a really really awesome evolution method uh palafin which is the same fucking thing i'm gonna put that i'm gonna put this one bottom of s tier because of its of this guy which is gonna go top of s tier so palafin normally parafil par, palafin zero mode bottom of s tier because it's like one step up of finison which is top of a tier but palafin hero mode one of the best fucking designs in the game i fucking love it can't wait to use it thanks like fucking look at this look at this 160 base attack 100 speed this thing is a fucking this thing is bulky as hell I, I i can't wait to use it i hate that it's pure water type i would like to see a type combination like water or something like uh i mean i, I don't know but I, it's it's a fucking superhero it has fucking great stats it's got a fucking unique and unique ass fucking evolution method i can't wait can't wait to use this mon um Next up, we got small live. Small live is cute. It's that's not small live. That is a big boy. That's small live. Uh, small live is you know I'd say it's a it's like a mid B tier, mid B tier design. It's cute. It's an olive. I don't like olives, but the design's cute. Uh, doll live is low B tier. It's like, you know, it's what you would expect from an, uh, you know, especially with small live that has a little olive on its head. Now it has two olives. Arbeliva, I think it was called. Yeah, Arbeliva. Arbeliva is a, you see, is a cool design. I'm going to put them top of B tier. Uh, fuck off, Wiglet. There you go. Uh, top of B tier. I like that it becomes a tree. It's like the next logical step. It's got decent stats. Uh, it's got like really good special attack at 125. You know, really good bulky defenses. It's slow as hell, though. But you know what? It's got 69 attack, and that's the funny internet number. So... You know, all right. Next, this, these guys are one of my favorite lions. You got, uh, hold on, let me look at their names. Caps a kid and Skull Villain. Uh, you got Caps a kid. Caps a kid is cute as hell. It's top of A tier. Uh, no, after after finishing, you know. And then we got Skull Villain, the first fire grass type of the game. That's gonna be bottom of A tier. 
Actually, you know what? Fuck it. He's gonna go. Oh, he's gonna go above Cleavor. Actually, this should be here. Actually, here. Yeah. There we go. He's gonna go fourth, fourth in S tier, just because he's the first Fire Grass type. It's a type combination that I've wanted for years, and we finally got it. And you know, his stats are all right. You know, he's got he's got 108 defense, uh, attack, and special attack. You know, he's got so-so speed with 75. He's got like no defenses, but it's fine. Um, he does have Moody and Chlorophyll. So if you're running like a, a Sun team, which is a good idea if you're using the Paradox, a Paradox Mon from uh, Scarlet, uh, then, you know, he's going to be outspeeding a lot of stuff and you can run it either physically or especially. Uh, I don't really know what it, I can look at what its move pool is. This level up moves. Uh, we do control F go villain, you know, so it's got spicy extract, which is just, it's, it's move. It learned it's flamethrower, Le fire, fang leafage, uh, it itself gets sunny day. So that's always good. Bullet seed. Ooh, then head, but good coverage, uh, crunch seed bomb overheat. It's really like you can run it however you want. I love that in a one. Uh, tad, tad bulb, you know, I'm going to put this, uh, uh, you know, top of, yeah, after wit wit, because it's cute as hell. I don't really care about anything else. It's just cute as fucking hell. Belly bolt, belly bolt, belly bolt. It's going to go after the Dunsparce in air tier. Because it's belly bolt, belly bolt. Uh, Varum. Uh, see, I don't mind when Pokemon are based off of like objects i'm gonna put this guy low c bottom of c because of its typing Re reverend room is gonna have it's gonna be a bottom of b tier because it's obviously stronger but <coughs> four times weak to earthquake uh ortho worm looks doofy as hell it's bottom of a tier it looks doofy as hell it's a steel type i believe it's one of the titans but it's got an ability that makes it immune to ground type move, which is huge. It's huge. You have a steel type mom without that ground immunity, without that ground weakness. It's huge. Um, let's let's look at its stats too, since we, we seem to be doing that all the time. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Earthworm, Earth Eater is that ability. You know, it's got a. I mean, it's only good stuff <laughs> is its defense. But then again, I don't feel like this one is going to be the, the offensive juggernaut that you you want. You know, it, it could have some use. But uh, we'll see, you know, that let's let, does Earth Eater only. Where's Earth Eater? Earth Eater, if it's on a ground type move, the Pokemon has its HP retort instead of taking damage. Okay, so he is. Yeah, so he is immune to ground type moves because he take he heals instead of taking damage, which is good because it's he it's 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 a way of recovery. Um, but also his stats are kind of shit, so I don't know. But he look he looks doofy as hell, so he's bottom of A tier. What the hell? Why is there one kid and now two? Is there multiple forms for the mouse Pokemon? Okay. Well, listen. Anyways, I, design wise, I think they're kind of shit. I put them top of C tier, the entire family. Um, because design wise they're shit stat wise they're shit but mouse hold has friend guard which is fantastic he has friend guard and i think there was something else yeah friend guard right here i think there was something else um i think he he might have a the user fellow the user fellows gather and draw to perform a combo attack that hits the target one to ten times in a row Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's population bomb is actually 
I don't know if it's it's been patched yet, but uh, from what I've seen, it's like glitched to always go for 10. But I don't know, there's something else. One of two, what's the other? Tidy up. The user ties up and removes the effects of spikes, star rocks, sticky webs, toxic spikes, salsa boots the attackers. The user's attacking speed stats. Tidy up is fucking awesome, actually. Because it's a, it's another way to remove entry hazards, which in VGC we don't see that much. Rarely ever. But, you know, in singles it's, it's great. And it boosts attack and speed. So if you have a technician one, you know... You know, I wonder if it's like it has to remove entry hazards to get the attack and speed boost, or it just if you use it and there's no entry hazards, it's basically just like a swords, uh, dragon dance. That's I, I'm curious to see that. Um, all right, next up, uh, Satoddle. I'm gonna go top of B tier because it's fucking adorable, but it's also just gonna be terrible. Uh, battle wise the titan looks dope as hell it's gonna be like mid a tier uh, above the dunsparce uh yeah uh next up you know you got your pseudo line you know the the baby one is kind of ugly looking i'm gonna put him you know uh, mid c between the tauruses the second stage, I'm gonna put him at the same place. You know, he kind of like the looking, not really the one I'm gonna be using competitively. This guy though, this guy looks fucking awesome. It's Bax Caliber. So you got Fridgy Back, Artie Bax, and Bax Caliber. Thermal exchange is, uh, is gonna be really, really good. This guy's stats, you know, he's very bulky. He's got a great attack stat. Decent. Decent speed. Kind of reminds me of... Um... Tyranitar. Alright, let's go. Let's go look at Tyranitar. Look at Tyranitar's stats real quick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Right, so you got 100 HP, 134 attack, good defenses, decent attack, and shitty speed. You look at this guy, you got good HP, good attack, decent defenses. Actually, he's got he's faster, but you know, he's got you know, he, he kind of reminds me of Tyranitar. He might be used in sort of the same way, just a, a faster version. Uh, but yeah, he's low A for sure. Tatsugiri, Tatsugiri, Water Dragon. There's three different forms. They all have the same stats, abilities, everything. They did it. They do have different shiny forms though. That's a. So um, I don't like sushi in the real world, but I like a sushi mon. So I'm gonna put them bottom of. I'm gonna put them all three bottom of A tier, and them with the Donzo have like this nice fucking like partnership. He jumps in the mouth and the Donzo has an attack called Order Up that does a different thing depending on the color of the sushi in its mouth. It's a double strat. If you don't play doubles, it's fucking useless to you for the, to have this information. If you do play doubles, then you might see it every now and then. I don't think it's going to be like one of the main strats of the of the gen, but we'll see. Cyclozar is fucking uh, mid A just because it's, it's the Legends, but not. Um, Palmy, cute as hell. B tier. Palmo, right behind him. Palmot, it's going to be mid A tier. Right beside Rabska for the same fucking reason as Rabska. Uh, it's got Revival Blessing as well. Which means it can revive revi revi one of its mind. It's got Iron Fist, it's a fighting type, so the punch moves are going to be very much, very common on this guy. It does have a good speed, it does a good, good attack. Everything else is kind of shit, but you know what? It also has a good, you know... Um, I don't know how they're going to move forward with this evolution method in later games they're going to probably have to change it up a little bit or just include let's go in every game uh going from now on but you know for right now you know it's got pretty it's got pretty pretty good attack pretty good defense pretty good speed very shit everything else good typing good ability good move pool 
moving on to Watro. Watro looks like it, it did fucking poke and it, it just can't stop. So I'm gonna put it like there. Uh, Kilo Watro is a fucking seagull, but it's electric flying. And I think it's got, it's got wind power, which is a good ability. It's got great speed, good special attack. Uh, let's check out wind power. Uh, wind, wind, wind power. Pokemon becomes charged when it's hit by a wind move, boosting the power of the next electro type move that Pokemon uses. Which is also proc'd by Tailwind. So if, if someone sets up a Tailwind, boom, your next Thunder type move is used, is boosted. It takes no damage from wind moves. That's Wind Rider, never mind. Uh, yeah. So it's basically. Electromorphosis, electromorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorphomorph
you know, if you have like a dragon dance spawn up, where is it? Where is it? If you dragon dance up on a mon, it'll get a plus one in attack, plus one in, just up on switching in, which is fantastic. But also, so, but the big downside to this is you pretty much have to run a setup mon on a team with a Flamigo if you plan to use it. Because if you don't, then there's no point in Flamigo having co star. Scrappy is alright. Tangled Feet is... Bleh. But in stats, it's got good speed. It's got great attack, everything else. Well, it's got, it's got good HP. But it's kind of lackluster in defenses. So I don't see this thing being used really, really much. If you like it, more power to you, bud. I support you. Me, it's just a flamingo. Uh, next, we got our boy, the Cloth. Cloth is fucking eight. It's fucking S tier. All right. It's going to be right here, right after low kicks it's fucking it's s tier what, what can i say that hasn't already been said that's twitter you know it's got it's got decent speed it's got shitty as fuck special defense but it doesn't matter because you got fucking anger shell which is a free fucking shell smash uh when anger shell when the user hg drop, drops to half or less pokemon gets angry lowers stuff and yeah, so it's well, it's not a shell smash because shell smash is I think it's two per stat. This one's one per stat, but if you can shell smash with it, and then wider, and then go down to fifty, get another one on top of the plus two, so you're at plus three attacks, attack and speed. Nothing is living. Nothing. I don't care. Nothing is living. Uh, so yeah, cloth is the cloth is fucking great. I love it. He's definitely on my team. He also gets Regenerator, apparently, which... That's fantastic. And he can't be crit with his other ability. His, his shell armor is kind of like the eh, one, but it's still, he can't be crit. I think that's what it does. You see how I wrote it, Americans? There's views and words. Uh, Alright, shell armor... Yeah, it can't be crit. Which, if if we're if we're, you know, it's anger shell, regenerator shell, armor, but whatever. Uh, we got Nakli, which is the mushroom. Uh, you know, I like it. I'm gonna put it in like here. It's evolutions though. I don't. I, I'm not a fan. A lot, not that I'm not a fan. It's just a, I've never. I haven't seen them like be be them you know I'm ne i never i haven't seen them I, I need to see them to really make a good decision based on but it's fi it's final of all form has 100 hp and attack which is not bad it's got 130 defense which is fantastic it's not a special attacker because we don't care about for we don't care about special attack it's got a good 90 defense based special defense and it's slow as fuck it does have sturdy so it's that it's that line. It's the sturdy line of the generation. Uh, it does get purifying salt, which, um, if I remember correctly, purifying salt uh, protects the Pokemon from status conditions and half the damage taken from ghost type moves. Which, if I'm being honest, ghost type moves aren't really the biggest threat to gar 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 gargle on the nuts. But, you know, it's it's always a good thing. Um, especially when you... So I'm just going to put the entire line together. Where did I put... Where did I put the... Where did I put... Where did I put the mushroom? There I put the mushroom. Okay, and I'm going to put this. So actually, I like this one. And I like the design better than the other two. Uh, reminds me of a temple from Minecraft. Uh, this is Glimit, I believe. Glimit? Glimit and Glamora. All right. Uh, so Glamora is all right. Glimit's nothing special. It's a pre-evolution. I don't, I don't, I, it does have 105 base attack, but you're not, you know, unless you're playing Little Cup, you're not really going to be fucking doing anything with it. You're not going to be living anything. You're not going to be outspeeding anything. You're not going to, you know, just, it's, it's, it's got a good... It could possibly be used with a Violite, but I don't really see that happening. Um, 
Yeah, Glamora is what we want to focus on here. Uh, Glimmit, I love, I love the design. It's like a seed with like a little face on it. That's fucking fantastic. Glamora is 100, 130 base attack. It's got good defenses. It's got good speed, good HP. Who cares about the physical attack? It's a special attacker. It does get access, access to corrosion, which means that it can poison, even steal and poison types, which is always fucking killer. The last one that could do that fucking sucked. The Lazzle. Uh, toxic debris, if I remember correctly. Toxic debris. It uh, scatters uh, poison spikes at the feet of the opposing team when the Pokemon takes damage from physical moves. Um, which, if I'm being honest, uh, you know, it do be having the defense for that. So it might be you might be seeing toxic debris a lot. It would also be a way to set up toxic spikes in like VGC format without having the move. And it would also be like it would also make people think like if it's got toxic debris, it's gonna set up poison spikes, which is gonna poison my team. If it's got corrosion, it could poison anybody. This thing is gonna be I'm not gonna say it's gonna be killer, because I don't think it's gonna be used all that much. But it does it does hit like a truck, it's bulky as hell, and you know, we never know what can happen in life, you know? So uh I'm gonna put Glimmit in bottom of B, and I'm gonna put Glamora in middle middle of A right after Belly Bolt. Belly Bolt. All right, next up, we got Shrudel. Fucking adorable. I'm putting it top of A right after Caps a Kid. Then we got Grafii, which is going in S tier. Um, yeah. By the way, these top four are going to be on my team for my first playthrough. So I guess you guys can kind of see a, a pattern developing here. Whereas the six months I like the most out of the new generation <laughs> are going to be my team. Uh, but yeah, no. Grafai Eye looks sick. It's wearing a little hoodie over its, it's, it's, it's like the back of its head. It's got like the little like uh, 90s kid frosted tips, uh, you know, gelled hair. I love it. Um, normal poison. Fantastic. It's got great speed, great physical attack. It could be run off specialty if you wanted to. Uh, cause 80 is, it's not good, but it's not, it's not bad either. You know, it's got prankster too. prankster. That's going to be killer when it gets out. Uh, unburdened three plus one. When you eat a berry poison touch, we're not, we're not going to talk about that. Uh, but yeah, no, that Grafai is a, is a fucking fantastic mon. Uh, Fido look, it's cute. But it's also like bottom of C tier. Like it's, you know what? I'm gonna put it up with its little buddy, Lechonk. Uh, Dash Bun? Is that what it's called? Dash Bun? That Docs 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 Bun. Dash 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 Dot Date Doc. Doc. Is the hockey player for the Montreal Canadiens with that last name Doc? So I'm gonna call it Doc. Docs Bun. Well, big body. I think it doesn't take. I think it doesn't take damage from fire type moves. I think is what it is. Well, big body. This Pokemon takes no damage when hit by a fire type move. Instead, its defense stat is sharply boosted. So you get a plus two when hit with a fire type move. Which I'm gonna be honest. Some of these abilities is like why it doesn't it doesn't it kind of doesn't make sense. This one's like. The fairy type so hitting with a fire type move is not something you would commonly do you would try to go for something super effective but you could get like a free switch in and then boom get a plus two defense you know but i mean whatever uh it's got you know decent stats it's got good speed good defense decent special defense decent attack i don't see this thing being used a lot but if you you know if you want something you know, you could and you can manage to hit it with a fire type move. Oh, you can actually it doesn't specify it needs to be the opponent, so maybe if you use eruption, boom. We'll see. Mass Chief. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even rank it. I just gave my opinion of it. I'm gonna put it with Fido. I like its design more, but Mass Chief, that's uh it's got intimidate. Uh, and it's Mass Boss Tiff also has Intimidate. Mass Boss Tiff is, I think, going to see some usage. Uh, it's got decent, it's got good defense, decent special defense, decent speed, good attack. With Intimidate, 
being a dark type so it stops prankster and uh what's guard what does guard dog do uh where's guard dog Boost the Pokemon attacks at if it if intimidated moves in items would that would force the Pokemon to switch out also fail to work. So even if that even if you don't run intimidate on it and you run guard dog, intimidate is fairly used in in in, in, um, in VGC. Yeah, uh, because it's always good. This this is the hard counter to intimidate. So you know and. You can't, you can't, you can't be, can't be, uh, like, whirlwinded out or whatever, like, or aqua tailed out. I think it's aqua tail or dragon tail. I don't, I don't fucking know, dude. I don't use those shit moves, okay? Okay? Okay. But yeah, so no, this is, uh, this is, this is a C tier with, uh, Fire Dog, and this is, uh, like, mid B tier. Uh, Bramblin and Bram Glad, Bram Gast. Uh, so, Wind Rider. Bramblin, it's got Infiltrator, which is fantastic. Grass Ghost, I love that type of combination. Um, 115 base attack, 90 to 90 speed. It's it's good, it, you know. I think it, it might see some usage in certain areas, but it's going to be more like a, a playthrough mon, I believe. Uh, Wind Rider. Wind Rider. Boost the Pokemon attack stat if Tailwind takes effect. Or if the Pokemon is hit by a wind move. Pokemon also takes no damage from wind moves. So no damage from wind moves, which I think are all going to be flying types. So that's... It's not like... An immunity to flying types, but, you know... It, it won't... That, 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 that. If a wind move is used, it's not going to... It's going to do... It's going to boost attack and not taking... Not be taken, not, no damage is going to be taken. Um, and if it's Tailwind, boom, you you set up it, and it doesn't specify if it's if it's your or the opponent's. So if, it could be you you set up a Tailwind, and then it gets an attack stat, that's an attack boost. Sorry, I don't know it could it could be good. It could be good if if it's Tailwinded with a plus one, you can you can sweep maybe. You can sweep depending on what moves that you, you have. Uh, so you know, I, I, I like its design too. I'm gonna put this in low B, and I'm gonna put, put this in high I B. I B. That's my friend hybrid. Uh, gimme ghoul. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I like the gimmick. I liked the reveal, but that's about all I like of Gimme Ghoul. It's got a good. It's got a. Uh, nothing good going for it. It's evolution though. It can't be statist. And it's got really good special attack, really good defenses, decent speed. Gold Dango might be used. It's Ghost Steel, so that's a, 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 a good. I mean, it's not a good type of combination. I don't see. It doesn't still re doesn't still resist dark. I know it resists psychic. It used to resist dark. It doesn't resist dark anymore. I guess, you know. uh, they don't really complement each other well, but it's also I, I, it's it's not a terrible type combination. So you know, uh, and it can't be status. So uh, gold dingo is probably going to be ranked high. But uh, Gimme Ghoul, Gimme Ghoul is going to be like low C tier, both of them. Gold Dango, I might put like high, high B like here. Uh, next up, we're starting to get into the Paradox Mons. So we got Great Tusk. Um, who's got, you know, good stats. It's Ground Fighting, which I think is a new type combination. So I'm going to put this, uh, I do like its design, so I'm going to put it in the bottom of A. We got... Uh, Brute Bonnet, which is Grass Dark. I don't like the type combination. Anything that's four times weak to 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 Bug, I don't like because of Leech Life not doing damage, and you know you could basically just one shot it and get your entire health back. It is fairly bulky. Uh, it's it, it, well not fairly, but it's got good bulk. It's got great bulk. It's got good bulk. It's a physical attacker versus its uh, original form. Um, which is like a mixed attacker, but mostly special. Um, 
I do like its design more than it's than the Amoongus. It's got legs, so it can actually move around. So uh, I'm gonna rate this, you know, uh, mid B, or mid B is more like, you know what, right there between the Toros. Um, Sandy Shocks, Sandy Shocks, is um, it's it's a, it's a faster Magneton basically because its attack is the same fucking thing. It's got, you know, almost the same bulk. Um. It's just faster. And, you know, it's faster and it, it's bulkier. You know, and you, you can maybe get around, get away with running it like with a physical move, like with an earthquake or something. I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, recommend it, but you can, you can. Uh, plus, I like its design. I like Magneton, so I'm gonna like Shanty Shocks' design. It's, 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 it's a variation of it. So I'm gonna give this a, a, a you know, I'm gonna give this a low A tier. And next we got uh, this piece of shit. I will give credit where credit is due. Screamtail is a lot better than Jigglypuff, but you 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 give it 300 more base stat total, and you put it basically all in stats that it. it, it, it like, what am I gonna do with this thing? It's got it's got the same fucking HP stat. It's got 20 more in both attack stats, which means it's still fucking useless offensively. It's bulky as hell, but that's about it. That's about fucking it. And if I go to level up movesets for Screamtail, I'm going off of level up movesets, not because... Uh, because I don't want to go through every single fucking move it learns, you know? It's got Pound, Sing, Disable, Howl, Noble Roar, Bite, Body Slam... Rest, play rough, hyper play. Boombers, Parish I mean, You could use it as a fucking like Trollmon. Trollmon. Um... Oh, yeah, it doesn't get egg moves because it doesn't breed. Uh, but let's see, TM moves. Screamtail gets the punch moves, body slam, takedown, flamethrower, ice beam, slide beam. Nah, nah, nah. Um. Baton pass, uncoat crunch, facade, helping hand, big tear rock, tear, ball cup, oh, no, no, drain punch. It, it gets, it gets good fucking, it gets good moves. It's just terrible. It's got that, those attack stats are not gonna do much. Uh, and what do you have? Relearn moves, scream tail, sunny day. Hence, um, its ability. Boost its highest stat in the sun. Its highest stat is probably going to be its its unless you're running it like for like max speed and like not max defenses for some reason. You want to try and boost its attack so it can actually do something or whatever. It's gonna it's probably going to be its spadaf that's boosted or something like that. one of its defenses that's boosted. Oh, you guys saw the my my the, my, my true background. All right, but yeah, I hate it. So it's D tier. Um, what's this one called? Flutter Main. Flutter Main is basically a, a, a Miss Magius in the body of a Mischievous with a little like discolored tail for some reason. I like Mischievous, so I'm going to put it bottom of C. Uh, Stats wise, it's it's better than both of them. It's weaker in the physical stats and HP, but it's a lot stronger in f speed in the special stats. So it's like a, it, it's like a Miss Magius, but better in the body of a Mischievous. Uh, plus, you can get a nice speed boost or special attack boost with Sunny Day, with uh, in sunlight. So uh, you know, it's nothing nothing really to complain about. Uh, Slitherwing. Slitherwing is fucking A tier, man. A tier, man. A tier, man. Uh, right, right here. Right here. Uh, actually, I'm going to be using Bax Caliber, but it's not in A tier with the rest. Um, who else am I going to be using? Oh, we haven't gotten to the last one there. Uh, but yeah, Slitherwing 
It's basically a physical Volcarona. A slower but physical Volcarona, which I fucking love. Uh, I love its design way more than the Volcaronas, even though it's based off of it. Um, not too fond, not too fond of the typing because it's weak to flying. It's four times weak to flying, but I don't care because it looks like it's, it looks awesome, and I can't wait to buy it, to, to buy it to use it. It's, it just sucks that it's post game. If it wasn't post game, I'd be using that shit on my team. Uh, next up, we've got Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon is the same fucking situation as Slitherwing. It's fucking awesome as hell. Its design is better than the original. Its stats are a, a tiny bit worse because its base stat total is, is, is worse, but it's faster. And it hits a little bit harder. Uh, they removed the, the, the ability to be a mixed attacker, but I don't care because it's fucking Roaring Moon. You know, it looks fucking sick. I'm not too fan. I'm not too uh, too fond of the four times weakness to fairy, but again, it looks fucking dope as hell. Um, next one is Iron Treads. Iron Treads. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. The color scheme kind of dope. Everything else, fucking trash. Let me go top of B tier. Um, you're gonna see. Uh, uh, um, you're gonna see a uh, a theme with the paradox bonds. I don't like it. I don't like any of the violet ones. They all just look like robots, which is fucking terrible. Uh, but uh, yeah, so if you look at the comparison between Dawn Fan and Iron Treads. Uh, it's faster. It's got the same defense. It's weaker uh, physically. Which, if I'm being honest, they could have just take it made that 62 and then made that 122. It would have made a difference. Uh, but yeah, it's. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of any of the of any of the Violet Mons, of any of the Violet Paradox Mons. Uh, so it's gonna be high T just based off design alone. Um, but I do like the design. I hate that it's a robot. I do like the design though. Uh, Iron Moth. Iron Moth is just robot Volcarona. You know, and I like Volcarona societies. I'm gonna put them here. I'm gonna put them fourth in B. And if you look at the it's it's basically just a better Volcarona. You know? They took they took away five from HP and five from Spadef. They gave ten to that, five to that, five to that, and ten to that. You know, it's but it's fire poison, which uh, is not a very good type combination because it's four times weak to ground, which is a very common moon. Moon? Move. Move type. Move type. Yeah. However, with terrestrialization, anything can happen. So I'm just, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of it. That's all I am. That's all, that's all I'm saying. Uh, Iron Hands? Iron Hands? I mean, this is it's like a common theme, right? It's, it's, it's the better Hariyama and it's fighting electric. Which is dope. Uh, it's bulky as fuck, physically. Not so much specially, but it's slow as hell, and it, it'll hit hard. It, 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 it's 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 going to be used. It's going to be a good mon. I just it's it's again it's a fucking robot. I'm gonna put it uh, like here in B tier. Uh, next we got Iron Jugulus. Iron Jugulus is dark flying, so it drops the dragon type from Hydreigon. So it's not four times weak to to to, to fairy anymore, which is a plus for it. Um, you can you can also you know, you can't run it mixed anymore, but it it's, it's it is faster. It hits a little bit harder. It's kind of the same. It's kind of a worse Hydreigon, if I'm being honest. You know, and design wise, it looks uh, like a robot. But uh, I will say this is probably one of my favorite designs because it, it looks less like a robot than the others. Uh, next, we got Iron Thorge, which is rock electric instead of rock dark, so it loses that four times weakness to fighting, which is fantastic. Its stats are basically just a worse Tyranitar. Um, but it's faster. You know. Um, I do like its design though. This is this is probably my favorite design out of all the all the violet ones. So I'll put it in low A tier. 
Um, but that's that, that's the problem with with the the main problem with the um, the paradox mons is when they took when when they take a pseudo, they just make a worse version of that pseudo with like a different type and a different design. You know, although. Um, Quirk Drive, I think it boosts in uh, Quirk Drive, Quirk Drive, Quirk Drive, Quirk Drive, Quirk Drive boosts the Pokemon most poor if it's a set on electric terrain or if it's boosting, you know, or if it's holding the boost energy, boost our energy. So, you know, you can potentially get a like an attack boost or like a speed boost or something. Probably more of an attack boost than the speed boost, if I'm being honest, but I mean just looking off of stat wise, it's basically just a worse Tyranitar. But moving on to Delibird and Iron Iron Bundle, not Delibird. Uh I think it looks doofy as hell, which I like. It's also fast as fuck. It's fast as fuck, boy. It hits super fucking hard too. It's ice water instead of ice flying. So it loses the immunity to ground type moves, but at the same time, you're not really it's not really the mon that you want to be using a ground type move on, because it's fucking water type. Um but yeah, it's got 124 base special attack, that's fantastic. 136 base speed, that's fucking killer. And it looks doofy as hell. So you know what? I'm gonna put iron bundle in low A tier, right after iron. Thing. Iron Thorns. Uh, next, you got Iron Valiant, which is like a combination of Gardevoir and Glade. It's Fighting Fairy, which is fantastic. I don't think we had a Fighting Fairy type yet. Um, and it, it's it's just basically a better version of both of those. You can run it however the fuck you want because it's fast as fuck and it hits both special and physically super hard. It's got you know good defenses, I guess. Um, it's not as bulky defensively as Guard of War and Gallade, but it's a lot faster and it hits fairly, it's fairly the same same thing. Um, plus, Quark Drive is a, is a thing that they just don't get. You know. Uh, so, I'm going to put this... Uh, you know, I, I have to put this in A tier because of its, its, its viability. It's, it's going to be very used. Um... Next, we got Ting Lu, Tian Pao, Wu Qin, and Chi Yu. Uh, the Dark type Legendary Quartet. Which all have great stats, I will say. Tian <laughs> Pao is going to be used a lot, I feel. But it is crippled by the four times weakness to fighting. Uh, Wu Chen is very, very bulky, but it also is crippled by a four times weakness to bug. Uh, Ting Lu, I think, is the worst design out of all of them, uh, in my opinion. But look at that HP stat and that defense stat. So that thing's a fucking killer and a half. Uh, if you set up like a fucking... In a trick room team, this thing sweeps. In a regular team, it could also sweep. Um, TU is my favorite one because it is a little fishy. Uh, it's also got... It's also got like really good speed. It's got really good special defense, really decent physical defense. It's got really good special attack. So my favorite are Chen Pao and Chi Yu. Uh, so this one, I'm going to put in, I'm going to put it in, in like top of C tier. This one's going to be uh, in, uh, in S tier because one, it's a kitty. So I'm going to put it with the other one. And this one is going to be in S tier as well. Shout out to my homeboy on Cineror with the typing. I know you're not in these games, buddy, but and I'm going to miss you. But, you know, sometimes you got to you, you got to spend some time away to realize how much you you good how good you are, you know. So the VGC scene is going to recover. And then you'll be added back in, in in DLC, hopefully. 
and fucking destroy everything again and it's going to be fantastic all right so now we have Karaidon and Miraidon. Karaidon is going to be S tier because it's the best design. Miraidon is going to be uh, A tier. I would say there. Uh, just because it's a penis. I'm not going to count these two because these are literally the same fucking thing. And then we got uh, Tinker, the Tinker, the Tinker, the Tinkerbell. This one, I got to say, it does nothing for me. I'm going to put it low C tier. This one too. This one, I don't like the design and I don't like its stats but I'm going to put it in high B tier because because it's very very steel and its dex entry is this very intelligent Pokemon has a very daring disposition it knocks rocks into the sky with his hammer aiming for flying Corviknight this thing is just out there to kill Corviknights that's it it doesn't give a shit it's just there to kill Corviknights just because of that, it's uh, whatever tier I put it in. B tier. Uh, n n n n n now we're on to one of my favorite lines. We got Charcadet, which is fucking adorable. I'll put this top of A tier. Uh, we have uh, Armor Rouge, which is going to be on my team, and I love it. So it's going to be in S tier, top of S tier. And Cerule Edge, I'm going to put top of A tier right after Charcadet because I like its design. I just like Armor Rouge more and i love charcadet because it's so fucking adorable so out of the three it's the lesser one that's why it's behind all three it's still great i'm still probably going to end up using it at some point it's just out of the ones that i like the most armor rouge charcadet cerule edge uh then we got toad's cool and toad's cruel which are convergent species of toad of uh tentacruel and tentacruel and tentacruel uh, I'm going to put them both in B tier when beside each other. Because I like the designs. I saw a video of Toad's Cruel walking and it's fucking doofy as hell and I love it. Um, King's Gambit. I'm going to say, I'm going to put it at the bottom of A tier. Design wise, it's great. Stats wise, it's kind of a letdown. And what I mean by that is look at how close it is to Bisharps. You know, it's. They only added 60 more points. You know? You know, and a lot of that is in, is in HP. They took defense points, the speed points away, and then made it bulkier and hit a little bit harder, a tiny bit harder, 10 points more. That's kind of a disappointment. But at the same time, Bisharp was great. So King Gambit will be greater because it's bulkier. The only thing though is Bisharp locks at, lock, at lost access to knockoff, which is kind of a it, kind of a eh, letdown. But there is a, an upside to it: is Supreme Overlord, which is ability, which is when the Pokemon enters the battle, its attack and special attack are slightly boosted for each of the allies in this party that have already been defeated. But let's say you're doing a full six on six battle, and it's your last Mon. What is it like? Uh, does it say what? It, what the boost is? I, I I assume it's a plus one. You get a free plus five. Yeah, it goes all the way up to plus six. There's a free plus five in both attack and special attack. Is what I'm assuming. And even if it's not that, even if it was like a half. Like a plus 0 0.5. Like not a full stat, like a half stat boost. That's still a plus two and a half when you get back when you when you when you're going down to it, which I don't think they were gonna do. So I think it's just a full like just one stat boost. You're gonna have a fucking No one's gonna be able to kill your nobody nobody's gonna it's gonna be living a hit against your King Gambit. So in a fucking like trick room scenario. This thing is going to fucking be fucking killer. Uh, I think you're going to be forced in some, some way, shape, or form. If Kim Gambit is being used, you're going to be forced to run Trick Room on your team just to take Trick Room off of the field so the King Gambit doesn't sweep your team. Yeah. But yeah, uh, bottom of A. Next up, we have Claude Sire. Uh, 
I love this design more than Quagsire because I fucking hate Quagsire, but I, it's, it's bulky as hell, but it can't hit for shit, and it's slow as fuck. It does get water absorbed, though, which is a big point to it. It removes its ground weak, its uh, water weakness, so, um, you know, it does get points for that. Uh, I'm going to put a bottom of B because I like its design. I don't think I'm ever going to use it, really, but, uh, yeah. Uh, Annihilate is uh, it's it's a similar situation to King's Gambit, so I'm gonna put it King Gambit, so I'm gonna put it in that same category. Why? Because look at like it, it gets a it hits a little bit harder. It's a little bit slower and a little bit and a lot of bit bulkier, you know. But that's basically just it. It doesn't hit as hard as like, you would expect an evolution to hit. It does gain the ghost type, but it does lose anger point, which is fucking huge. If you get crit, fucking max attack. That's huge. And it loses it for inner focus, which is fucking terrible. Um, but yeah. So that's it. That's my tier list. Uh, I'm not going to switch anything around. That's just... Uh, that's my tier list. But thanks for watching. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and put these in there just because it's going to bother me. Um, or are you, I'll just put them beside their other form. Just so I'm not like, people are like, why would you put them in D tier? They're not D tier. They're good. They're the legends. All right. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, these five and Baxcalibur. Where is it? Here are going to be my team. Um, this should go up on the day of Sword and Shield on the, so on November 18th. So if you see this on the day of, check out the link in the description to the Small Peener channel. It's a group that I, it's a channel that I have with my group of friends. I'll be streaming on that. And then that stream will be broken up into episodes that will go on this channel. So if you want to see my playthrough, we're doing a 24 hour stream. it will be me, Hybrid and Soul. And we're probably gonna have other people joining in because we're just gonna be in, in our in our Discord server voice chat, so anybody can hop in. Uh, so yeah, if you're watching this on the day of, check out the stream. Stream. If not, you could probably check out the videos when they come out. And with that, I will thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Ciao.